Kim Kardashian and Tristan Thompson might be getting cozy. Yep, you heard that right. Recently, they were seen partying it up in Miami. But hold on, because there's a twist Chloe, Kim's sister, is reportedly not too thrilled about this. She's supposedly pretty mad at Tristan for pursuing Kim fans. Pretty mad at Tristan for pursuing Kim. Fans are speaking up too, saying it's not cool for Kim to hang out with a guy who hurt Chloe in such a public way. Oh my God, Tristan called me today. About? He told me that he is buying a house in Hidden Hills. But wait, this isn't the first time Kim and Tristan have been spotted together. And now things are getting even more interesting. Chloe seems to be smelling something fishy. And Kim revealed that Chloe gave her the cold shoulder after finding out about their hangout few drama alert so here's the big question is kim really trying to get with tristan or is there something else going on i've gotten back with him after a cheating scandal so i don't know if tristan is under the impression oh wow okay let's just ride this out and eventually she'll get back with me now you know chloe and tristan's history right they had this on again off again thing going for years and tristan well, he was tangled up in a bunch of cheating scandals. I mean, love her or not, Chloe went through the ringer with all that cheating and gaslighting. But here's the twist. Kim, despite all of that, still publicly backed Tristan. She even started hanging out with him solo. Remember 2019? That's when Tristan got caught up with Kylie Jenner's ex-BFF Jordan Woods. And let me tell you, Kim wasn't holding back. She went all out, showing Jordan no mercy. There was this Snapchat video, classic Kim style, where she and her pal Malika sang along to Don't Mess With My Man, pointing right at the camera, and then, catch this, on one episode of Keeping Up With The Kardashians. Kim told her mom and sisters they needed to give Jordan a good scare. You need to scare the living in daylight. Be scary. Stop everyone's dick. Now, Remember that family reunion special with Andy Cohen back in June 2021? Well, when the topic of Tristan came up, Kim was quick to jump in. She defended the family's decision to welcome Tristan back into the fold. But here's where it gets interesting. Chloe was asked about Kylie possibly being friends with Jordan again. And right in the middle of Chloe's answer, Kim cut in. She was all about keeping Tristan in the family, apparently because Kylie had plans to cut TIs with some companies. Kylie wants We've had a lot of conversations. Jordan to be her friend. That's up to Kylie. But Kylie like, knows. I'm gonna keep it real. Tristan has a baby with Chloe. So they, Tristan will always be in our lives one right. way or the other. That's if a girl thinking. was, if anyone else came in this situation, I wouldn't choose to want to spend all my extra time. Now. Kim's take on this was that she's looking out for Chloe and Tristan's kids, but some fans found it kind of strange. They couldn't help but notice that Kim seemed oddly invested in making sure Chloe didn't completely cut off Tristan. And let's take a stroll down memory lane whenever the news broke about Tristan cheating on Chloe. Kim's reaction seemed pretty, well, interesting. She acted concerned, sure, but you could catch a glimpse of her secretly enjoying the whole situation. So, remember that time Tristan Thompson blocked Kim Kardashian on Instagram? Oh boy, did Kim make a fuss about it. She couldn't stop talking about how hurt she was. And let me tell you, fans were quick to jump on social media, suggesting that Kim might have felt a little rejected by Tristan. <gasps> he blocked me. What a f***ing loser. Literally, what a f***ing loser. <laughs> I'm calling her right now. Hello? Wait, he blocked me on Instagram. Like, how old are you? He's 27. Only 27-year-olds even know how to block. I don't even know how to block someone. Oh, it's on. But hold on tight, because there's a twist coming your way. At that time, Kim was all like, I can't stand Tristan, and I want nothing to do with him. But guess what? As soon as Chloe cut T.I.'s with him for good, things got a little, well, interesting. Back in January, Kim brought Tristan along to Norse basketball game. And get this, it was only weeks after Tristan's cheating scandal with Chloe and Marilee Nichols. Cue the raised eyebrows and curious minds. One fan commented, at the time, I think Tristan and Kim are at that time when Kim and Tristan were in New York and they dined together one minute. She is so angry at him that she is inviting him around to see Chloe. She wants to keep him close so they can do it, but she also has power over Chloe. 
Now, it might sound a bit wild, but let's not forget that the Kardashian sisters have a track record when it comes to sharing men. Yeah, you heard that right. In the past, there were whispers about the sisters being involved with the same guys. Hold on tight, because this isn't new territory. The rapper game spilled the beans in one of his songs, hinting that he had been involved with not one, not two, but three Kardashian women. And guess what? He later confirmed in an interview with Wendy Williams that two of them were none other than Chloe and Kim. Talk about dropping a bombshell. You got down with Chloe. Now, did you get down with Courtney? No. Kim. It's Chloe. It's Kim. Have you slept with the mom? <laughs> nah. But wait. There's more. The rumor mill didn't stop there. Word on the street is that Drake, the Canadian music sensation, might have had a thing with more than one Kardashian sister. Yep, you heard that right. And if that wasn't enough, Kanye West himself hinted that Drake might have even had some kind of connection with none other than Kris Jenner. You say in war, he hell fuck your baby's mother's mother? Yeah, that was hard. That was, that was hard. <laughs> hey, I was like, what's going on? What, 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 what does that mean? What does that mean? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's like, like so like a, We yeah. was confused. You know what it means. So, <laughs> God damn it. And, and I put like, Corey know what it means. Corey, oh! We're diving right back into the Kardashian whirlwind. And believe me, nothing seems to be off the table with this family. So here's the scoop and let's be real. By now, nothing would likely leave us to shocked. So after that little rendezvous with Tristan at North's basketball game, things got even more intriguing. Kim Kardashian started hitting up Tristan's Lakers games all by herself. And Chloe was nowhere in sight now. Get this, folks. If you took a look at the photos Kim was sharing on her Instagram stories from those games, it seemed like there was some serious flirting going on. I mean, seriously, the vibes were real. There's this snapshot of Tristan waving to Kim, and Kim captioned it with an, oh hi Tristan. And if that wasn't enough, there's another snap where Tristan's smiling, and Kim writes, yes, go Lakers. But hold up, when did Kim suddenly become a basketball super fan? But wait. There's more. When Tristan's birthday rolled around in March, Kim posted a selfie with a kissy face and the message had the best day ever. And you know what fans started saying? They're convinced Kim has a massive crush on Tristan. Some are even speculating that they might have already had a little something going on in the past. So here's the deal. It seems like Kim is waving the secrecy flag goodbye. She and Tristan recently turned heads while they were spotted partying it up in Miami. And here's the kicker, Chloe. Well, she was back home in L.A. You won't believe what these two were up to. They were caught watching a soccer game together, and later, they were seen leaving a nightclub. Talk about leaving tongues wagging. But hold up, because the plot thickens. Chloe seems to have caught onto the vibe, because Kim spilled the beans that she tried to fast time Chloe after her night out with Tristan. And guess what? Chloe rejected the call. Yep, you heard me right. Kim even went ahead and shared a screenshot of that rejected call on her Instagram stories, writing, she hates us. Oh boy, drama alert. Now, here's where fans come into play. They're giving Kim a piece of their mind for hanging out with Tristan. Why, you ask? Well, even if Kim isn't actually into Tristan, it seems like she's determined to make everyone think there's something sizzling between them. One person commented, I've said it before and I'll say it again, Kim is the kind of girl that gets off on thinking that your boyfriend finds her hot or hotter even with her sisters. But let's hear your thoughts on this. Do you think Kim and Tristan are actually hooking up or is Kim just hanging out with him for attention? Let us know in the comments and don't miss out on this next video.